So, Dre, how do you feel about the new grading system? Personally, I like it, but then I don't because I do good on tests, but I'm not a good studier, so it's hard to prepare for them. You know, when it, we're looking at the implementation of the new grading policy compared to last year and the year before, there hasn't been that many, there hasn't been a, a significant change in work um, in terms of how students are performing in classes. But under the surface, there definitely has because the grades are more reflective of what students truly know in the course. Meaning that if grades are the same or better than they were before, means the information that students are learning is far superior than the, the, the old grading practices that we had at Kettering previously. So we have a new department in the Waterford School District called Curriculum and Staff Development. And through a lot of research and uh, basically professional development sessions, they've derived this new grading practice that, that we've adopted as a district. Um, with that, it basically is meant to ensure consistency and also that it's more focused on the content. With 75% on the achievement factors, it's arguably meant to be that if a student has, for instance, Algebra 1, they're gonna, their grades can be based on what they truly know with Algebra 1. It also meant what the consistency is, if, a t if a student, two students have two different teachers but the same course, if they did all the same work, all the same performance, all the same tests, they're going to walk away with the same grade. So, so really those are the driving forces behind the new grading policy as well.